And of course, we hope that you're uh, bearing the, the weather from Superstorm Sandy uh, effectively. But for now, and uh, you know, with all the other news, we'll throw it over to Emily Carrier. Thank you, Mark. Hi there, I'm Emily Carrier, and this is the news. Our lead story today involves our host, Mark. Emory and Henry's Dean of Students has removed student government president, Mark Robertson, from office. The decision was effective on Tuesday at noon. Emory's student-written SGA constitution states that no elected officer may serve while on probation. Members of Robertson's fraternity were put on probation after a possible hazing incident during Pledge Week this semester. The administration's decision to remove Mark was unprecedented and the SGA Senate's Rules Committee is investigating the circumstances surrounding Mark's removal. Dean of Students Pam Gorley said that she is not ready to comment at this time. The student government says it is an unfortunate situation, but Vice President Yancey Wilmoth will take over as president effective immediately. In other news, another unprecedented situation up on the eastern seaboard, Hurricane Sandy. We are taping this segment on Tuesday, and this is what we know about the storm so far. What makes this storm unprecedented is how slow it is moving. The cold wind moving south over the eastern U.S. is fueling the hurricane. It is bringing in water from the Atlantic, causing lots of flooding and Emory's first snow of the season. Over half a million people have been evacuated from the eastern seaboard so far. But our local weather is predicted to dry out somewhat by the weekend for the football game on Saturday at Fred Self Stadium. Until then, please drive slowly and safely and use extra caution on bridges. That's all the news I have for you today. I'm Emily Carrier and this is EHC TV. Stay warm.